Oh no, I opened Excel and the powers are gone. <gasps> Hi, I'm Adam Saxon and welcome to Guy in the Cube. This week we're gonna pick up where we left off from last week, which was looking at Office versions. And I wanted to take a deeper look at Excel 2016 and kind of where the powers landed. One thing to start off with and what happened with Excel 2016 is we've pretty much dropped the power nomenclature from the items within Excel. Some of this is to avoid the confusion of where things were at with Power BI from a service perspective versus what's available in Excel. And to start off there, there's some new items in the options of Excel that can help you enable the add-ins a little more quickly. So if you go to File, Options, and Advanced, scroll all the way to the bottom under Data, you're gonna see Enable Data Analysis Add-ins, and that's gonna include Power Pivot, Power View, and Power Map. If you check that item, it will enable the add-ins for Excel. Alternatively, you can go to File, Options, and Add-ins, and then Manage Com Add-ins, and then select the, the Power Add-ins that are there. You'll notice that Power Query is not even available there. So let's start there with Power Query. Power Query has been folded into the Data tab. And so if you go to the Data tab, you'll see a new group there called Get and Transform. And those are the items that used to be Power Query. So you can create a new query based off of the data sources that you're familiar with. You can go ahead and show queries, which will show you the existing queries within the workbook currently. You also, if you go to New Query and then go down to Query Options, that's where you'll have items such as, like under Diagnostics, you can enable tracing. So if you're familiar with Power Query, you should be able to get up and running fairly quickly. So let's move over to Power Pivot. One item you'll notice on the data tab, there's another icon there called Manage Data Model. And so we're trying to drop the Power Pivot nomenclature and just go with saying it is the data model. However, you'll also notice that the Power Pivot tab is still there, and so you can still use those items that you used to be able to. But you can shortcut it by way of that Manage Data Model on the data tab. Next up is Power Map. And so Power Map has been renamed to 3D Maps. So if you go to the Insert tab, You'll see 3D maps there, and you can go and create a new 3D map, and it's still the same functionality that you saw in Excel 2013. It's just referred to as 3D maps now instead of Power Map. And last up is Power View. So Power View by default is not there. Even if you enable the add-in for Power View, you're not going to see any item there in the Insert tab to create a new Power View report. And part of that is because that uses the old Silverlight reporting canvas, and we've moved away from that into Power BI Desktop to use the new HTML5 canvases that are available in the new Power BI. You can still enable that though. What you can do is go to File, Options, and Customize the Ribbon Bar. From there, you can create a new group. And once you've created the new group, you wanna select the commands not in the ribbon. And then you can choose Insert a Power View Report Add that to that new group that you created and rename the group to whatever you want, if you want to call it reports or power view. From there, you can create a new power view report like you've always been able to, as long as you have a data model within the workbook. All right, so that was a quick look at where we're at with Excel 2016 and where the powers went. The items are still available for you to use. They're not gone. They may have been renamed a little bit and kind of folded into Excel itself. You also always have the option of using Power BI Desktop if you want to use the new items, if you know you want to use the HTML5 reporting canvas, that's available for you as well. Go ahead and let me know what you thought. Leave your comments below. Did this help you out? Was this something that you weren't aware of in terms of how to use Power View? I've also got an article down in the description below that talks about how to add that Power View item back to the ribbon bar. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Tuesday I look at a technical item such as this where I'll help you understand how things work or I'll go into some troubleshooting steps. Every Thursday I do an information roundup where I look at the items from the last week that I found interesting and I wanna share that out with you. And really, this is about you. I wanna get as much information out there as possible to help you be more effective and successful in the work that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.